Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from today's LCK 2024 Spring Split matchup. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. A few extra counter picks out of the draft and things like that. Um, but you really can abuse it and that is precisely what's happening here. We're just diving. Um, there's the bailout, and it is not quite going to work. Thankfully, though, Paze doesn't pick up the turret aggro, yep. and it's support for AD carry, and so therefore... Them ...and there's so little counterplay, because Lehens, it's very targeted. Lehens takes the aggro, because he doesn't care if he dies. Paze is still in the lane. They start targeting Henna, because they want the AD carry to go down, and then Lehens just tanks so many hits. The timing is perfect as well. Something, I mean, he has got a wave to pick up, but what happened? He was just zoned away from the, the wave forever, I think is basically what happened as Will is making his way in. Some boops coming down here, but the Udir is in so much trouble. Apprehend, Keen says get over here, but oh, he's now, yeah, Will up. He's trying to get this one to work out and he will find it. The double kill answer and the jungle brand might be the saving grace. The flash. Who is still keeping up with the brand, with his haunting guys. Now Henna is by himself. Uh, and there's a handshake, and Henna is just gonna die. And the bailout doesn't actually occur, because uh, Lehens didn't die early enough. That's a bit of a shame here. Yeah. Now Execute's coming on over. The cleanse is going to be used as now Pays has some stick. is on the top side of the map and does want to challenge this Darius, who almost has his flash back up and available. It is oh, so incredibly close. As there's a lot of minions here as well. Uh, Ghost has been popped as Apprehend comes down from Kane. He has spins around. The flash does come through, but he's still dead. Really nicely done here by the uh, Fear X topside. Of Press all his buttons. And it does have Featherstorm this time around. He is not as vulnerable as he has been in the past. So Hens moving forward, looking for that angle. And there he is, he's gonna find it on to execute. Somehow they just managed to pick off a Rakan and kill him, and now Henna is going melee range. I don't know what happened there. He was infected by something, but the bottom lane are gonna go down, and Gen G will take themselves a Rift Herald to see who's gonna be driving it. It was uh, Canyon last time, he did pretty. Part of it was he hit the ulting rel. Ah, uh, yeah. So I really expected more. Um, I guess he's not as fed as maybe we are led to believe. Well, Execute, looking to go aggressive as Lehens is going to flash out of the way. I love it though, love the idea, the gusto, the turret is going to fall down, but now Canyon could be in trouble. Willa just trying to wait for some cooldowns, but now Pays, he's stacking up the sticks, and they are really starting to hurt. Somehow, Canyon and Lehens will be able to wander their way out because Pays is just too scary. Yeah, he is doing so much damage. Play the From Execute. Out of the way of the Emperor's Divide. Not sure about all of these engages onto Rakans. It's now close. He's going to go onto Chovy here. Magnus Storm to pull him away. Oh! But he does have to snap back, and somehow Chovy's surviving. Oh, thank goodness Brand has some dot damage, so they are able to take down the Pigeon. Fear X, can they get anything else, though, is the question, because Pays is still absolutely huge. And Keen yeah, that... has been building items for a while. That felt like such a mammoth effort to make that play happen. And it feels like, oh, they got Chovy, but Chovy was 0-0-0. Zero, zero, zero. Uh, yeah. I think they need to get Pays as well. And they just used a lot of cooldowns. And now Pays is moving up. Canyon uh -oh. wants to kill Closer here. There's a hostile takeover. It is going to land onto Willa. That means that he's not pressing buttons then, as the Featherstorm is going to come oh, down. Him? The bailout comes no! through, and Hannah is still going to die. So Pays, he's able to go back home. Fine. Chovy is uh, still going to build it. This must be the most popular one. As Canyon, going hunting. Uh oh. Yeah, and he'll find him as well. Oh, Willa not allowed to go home. Pillar of Flame comes down. Canyon says, "So what?" And now Chovy sets up the uh, the soldiers, and they are able to take down the brand. Well, it would is be it a shame Baron? if it was after 20 minutes and there was a big purple whip. Oh, uh, would you look huh. at that? Oh, well, there we go. Well, remember I said about the Brandle in the Baron pit. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Oh, wait, never mind. Yeah, mm. yeah, that's not so good either. Well, they get mid tower. They do. And that also has a bounty on it, which is fantastic. That's gold. Can they also? No, they can't. There's no Drake. Uh, Drake is items and then a Rook Is that how it goes? I think he's going Wits End. Uh, but I like the Wits End. The Rook would be fun. It would be funny. As, all right, Keen is uh, gonna find a whole lot of bad guys and likely die. Does manage to get a lot of damage down beforehand, though, as now Henna at 300 health is in trouble, and Willa 
he's really dead. So that is going to be the first one for Pays. He's just come in. Yeah. And Lahens is too. He's actually looking pretty scary on this Renata as Henna with some uh, alcove gaming. And immediately he is going to get executed. Canyon moving in, looking for closer or any stragglers that could be in the area. And Chovy is just killing Taran. That is going to lead them very, almost perfectly into the Drake as well. Only a 30 minute, uh, 30 second window. As, all right, Pays throws in Lehens to look for that knockup. Execute gets over the wall. And Magnus Storm is just going to be used clear. He's trying to run around and be Udia, but unfortunately he's just dead. Just unable to do anything at all. And the difference between this Udia and some of the ones that we've seen today. Oh, it's very large. Oh. Yeah, Chovy just going to sweep them up. There goes the Brand, there goes the Zaya. No more damage is left, except for Closer, who is out of there as best he can. And Genji, I don't think they'll need a soul from their Baron buff. They'll take down these Nexus turrets, and Genji will remain undefeated here in the LCK and remain in first place. In typical Genji fashion, if the first game is close, the second definitely isn't. Make it look like the best chance that Firex had was dealing with Chovy. These were some of the best highlights from today's LCK 2024 Spring Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.